And the search for the gunman behind the mass shootings in Maine is now over. The shootings took the lives of 18 people and wounded 13 others. Officials say he was found dead with a self-inflicted gunshot wound late Friday night. CBS 13's Christian Bonavides has more. It was at this recycling plant late Friday that investigators in Maine found the body of 40-year-old Robert Card. The Army Reservist, who police say was behind this year's deadliest mass shooting, died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. They do not know when he took his own life. It looked like he had the same sweatshirt on that he had, the, the, the picture that we put out at the bowling alley, that that's the appeared to be the sweatshirt that he was wearing. His body was found in the back of a tractor trailer in the overflow parking lot of the property where he previously worked. Detectives had cleared the area twice before finding him on the third try. We cleared trailers that are there on that business footprint. Nobody had any idea that across the street, across Capitol Avenue, there's an overflow parking lot. The discovery marked the end of a two-day manhunt involving hundreds of state, local, and federal law enforcement agents after a card opened fire at a bowling alley and a bar. The victim's family still reeling. Bobby Nichols lost her sister, Trisha Aslin. Somebody that got out last said, Trisha called. She called 911. She was calling to save other people. And I know she would say, I know we wanted to do more, but that's okay. Because we were together. We were together that night, and I'll never forget it. Those who died ranged in age from 14 to 76, including several people who were part of a deaf group of friends playing cornhole at the bar. Last month, police in Maine were alerted about the threats made by the gunman who would eventually carry out one of the worst mass shootings in Maine's history.